This video revises solving an equation involving composite functions. And we're given g of x, which is x squared plus 2, and f of x equals x minus 3. And we're asked to solve g f of x equals f g of x. Now what we'll do is we're going to find out the left-hand side and the right-hand side, first of all, as functions of x. Now, as a quick review, g f of x means the following. First of all, we have x as an input. And the function of x, f of x, happens first of all. And f of x is the input takeaway free. So x goes into the function, and x minus 3 is then the output then the function g happens. Now g of x says basically whatever the input is we square it and add 2. However the input is actually x take away 3. So the x take away 3 is being squared and we then add 2. So the output is x take away 3 all squared add 2. And this can be expanded to give x squared take away 6x plus 9 plus a 2, which can be simplified to give me x squared take away 6x plus 11. So that is the left hand side. Now the right hand side is f g of x. So again, the input is x, g happens first of all. And it says wherever the input is, we square it and add 2. x is the input, this gets squared, and we add 2. Then we apply the function f. Now f says wherever the input is, we take away 3. Now the new input is x squared plus 2, so x squared plus 2 take away 3. Which, when simplified, becomes x squared take away 1. It's 2, take away 3 equals 1. So we've found the left hand side and the right hand side. That's the left hand side, that's the right hand side, so the equation becomes x squared take away 6x plus 11 is equal to x squared minus 1. Now to solve the equation, we can actually just cancel off the x squared terms because they're on both the left hand side and the right hand side. So the equation becomes minus 6x plus 11 equal to minus 1. This can be solved in various ways. Personally, I take away the 11 from both sides. So minus 6x becomes minus 1 take 11 is minus 12. Then I divide by the minus 6. So x becomes minus 12 over minus 6. The two negatives cancel out, and 12 over 6 becomes positive 2. So the solution to the equation is x equals plus 2.